Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the dies from the Quiet Meadow. I've already cut them out. I know I need that tiny bit. That one. That one. And... Was it this one? Yeah, that one. Cut like oh a butterfly. Do I need a butterfly? No, not on this one. Yeah, I made a couple of the cards with this, which you will see in the next coming weeks. That's why there's loads cut out. Um the background I used oh quiet meadow and textured essentials. I never got out of this one. Hmm, don't go on there. Have to put that on the big one. I also used of oh, te textures. I said I used this one as well. So I'm using these two for the background. For cardstock, I've got a card. Of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored up four and one eighth, folded in half and furnished, like we do. And I have two pieces of whisper white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside and one for the outside. So we need this one. Oh, and I have a strip of crumb cake measuring three quarters of an inch. And that will go down there. That also needs stamping on, which we will do. So, start off with we need a scrap of paper. And we need crumb cake. Oh no, what we need to do is mask this off so I have got some post-it note here and I am going to mask off put this down here can you see what I'm doing just so I can get this sort of in a straight line doesn't matter if it's not and I'm going to mask off from there, I'm leaving a bit hanging over. And I'll put this bit on this end. And with my that's not very straight, is it? And I'm better off sometimes just using my eye. There we are. Now, I didn't bring my brushes. Let me get my brushes. Right, so I need my brown brush and with crumb cake we are going to cover this side of the card in crumb cake. We could have just used crumb cake cardstock, but that's too dark for this kind of background. I'm not being 
so it all blends in perfectly because I don't want it to. doing now and I'm deliberately putting marks on dark marks you see that just to add dimension to it oh no I want them now with my text stamp out of uh, quiet meadow yeah right way up I'm going to put some text all over this and just a little bit there and then with the spots the splatter dots we're going to go over with them. Just like that. And that is that. No, it's not. I'm going to go over with this texture, which I should have done first, but I don't suppose it make a difference. No, it doesn't. going to change places and put this on this side and we're going to bring in smoky slate no we're not we're going to bring in soft sifa and with that and this other stamp from textured essential Stamp it off and we're just going to add this stamp to it's not going over the do that and then we want to Blue soft sea foam over soft sea foam seaside spray over the card, just like that. I don't want a lot. Just enough so you could see the difference. And then this strip of crumb cake will go over the join so you can't see it this is actually a bit darker than the other one I didn't stamp it off enough but it doesn't matter it will look nice when it's finished right this one needs this texture in crumb cake So stamp it off and then we're going up, up, there we are, just gives it a bit of dimension, doesn't look so flat. Right, I'll finish with that one. Right now, 
finish with them, set them aside. Bring in my dormers and we're going to turn this over because it's a mess. With our die cut, we're going to colour them in. So this one is in soft sea foam, a soft seaside spray. Like that. And what happened to the tiny bit? This little tiny bit that goes in the middle of this flower also needs to be. Seaside spray. See. Seaside spray. Yeah, like that. Need that there. Right, we're going to change over to night and navy. So we'll use this dauber and colour in the other one. Get rid of that. And now we can put our card together. So first of all, I'm going to glue this piece in the centre before I lose it. And we're going to glue this on. Oh, this is too long, isn't it? I've got to cut it down. Now, I do want this to be straight, so I'm going to go up. Uh, to pop this onto the card base before I stick down my flowers. Oh, I've still got sentiment to do yet. And pop in them. Not putting nothing on the inside. Sentiment is thinking of you, which I forgot to do. I've got a scrap of white here, I've got a block, and my knight and navy. So I'm just going to pop that. Down there. Hmm. 
Do it again. That's better. Right, we'll cut this out. And I'm gonna flag the ends. Every time I do this, I think, oh, I've got a punch for that. And I still never get it out. Don't know why I bought it. And there's my sentiment. So we need to start sticking these down. Now the first one I put down was the navy blue. Navy blue. Night and navy. This one's gonna go there. This one's next. that down like that there and this will put on dimensionals across the bottom there Because there's a build up there, I'm not going to put one in the middle. I'm just going to pop that on like that. And next, or at least, is, is the. I've got some glossy dots. And I've got some blue ones I'm going to use, just three. So one there, one there, and one. you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon